as I've upgraded some of my equipment here for videotaping and for sound why I've lost the, some footage here along the way. Um, hopefully we'll get that corrected very quickly and, and work the bugs out of that. But here uh, I've already Coleco'd this root skin in place. I started that with a layout uh, at the rear corner. Uh, the straight line is the, or the the straight line of this skin is what's laying on the laying up against the full size rib, and uh, you just want to make sure you've got that position to where you're going to have enough material all the way around to work it on down. So I started out drilling and clecoing it in that bottom rear corner, and then I went ahead and drilled and clecoed along the bottom line on the trailing edge. So once I got that done, I just very carefully started working up both sides, um, both on the root rib and on the full size rib support there where it, it uh, is going to be riveted to and just started working it up there and trimmed it. The uh, rivet line is an A4 pitch 40. Uh, everything in this in this skin I believe is, is pitch 40 and I just carefully started working it up and, and trimming along the way. I went ahead and laid out that pitch 40 rivet line so I knew where they were where the rivets were going to go and just kept working it up the up the side. I did make a couple of adjustments to the to the crimp on the on the uh, supporting edge on the full size rib and changed the angle of both that rib support and the uh, root rib to, to make sure we were lined up pretty well and, and get the support we needed so we had the nice curve going all the way up. And I just kept on and trimming and, and uh, filing with a Vixen file until we finally got it in position. Once you get up to the um, the front spar Y where it tapers down, that's the point where it'll rivet to again. And we just want a nice smooth transition all the way through there and down on around the front. So um, I'll just kind of let this video run until we, we get to that point and start uh, laying out that rivet line along there. And then I think we've got audio back on here so we can see what's going on. But it uh, it fits on quite nicely. I ended up and made this into a two-part video too when I flipped the wing skin over to finish out the bottom part, um, the bottom fitting of this. But all in all, it went on real well and I'm real happy with the results. So there again, this is another one of those parts that looked like it might be fairly difficult to fit up. and and it basically worked out to be a non-issue. All right, this rivet line will also be a A4 pitch 40. So let's go ahead and lay out our pitch line there. pleased with that transition. That looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and fit it on down here and fit down what we can to the top. 
get it probably down to here and our two holes down here will uh, will match drill those with a with a strap finder duplicator and we'll go ahead and click all those then we're going to roll the wing Okay, I think I want to very slowly start working both ends to roll it on around. Let's get us a, get us a line here. Since the nose rib on that root rib is not uh, riveted in place to the bottom skin, it's got a little bit of float, so we just clamped it into position there. That will hold it a little bit better. point in time I'm actually more interested in getting this line going with this nose rib because then this will fall in place and we can trim this back to fit if we have to but if we just start riveting here there's always a chance that it's going to pop it out a little bit more at the bottom and we won't be able to get a good tight fit here skin in part two. Thanks for taking the time to watch. If you like this video and find it helpful, please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you've got any comments, please leave them below.